I'm Harmony and today I'm going to show you a fun and simple way to make a galaxy painting like this one. You will need watercolor paper or painting paper. I find Canson at Walmart a lot so it's a pretty good brand. Unfortunately this effect doesn't work well on copy paper or sketch paper. You need washable markers. In my experience Crayola works best. White craft paint an old toothbrush, one that you will not need for your teeth, table salt, water, a sharpie or black paint marker, and a flat paintbrush. Oh yeah, and masking tape, I forgot about that. It's easiest to start off small. I have a bunch of odd watercolor paper scraps from a book binding project that I'm using, but you can just cut your sheet into halves or quarters. Then I use my masking tape and tape down all of the edges. This will keep my paper from buckling and it will give my paper a nice border. And I find a black, blue, purple, and pink marker. I start at the top, coloring in a layer of black. I'm coloring, I color very gently so that I don't scratch or wear down the paper. If I do, it'll show in the final painting. I color further down on the sides than I do in the middle. Now I'm done with the black, I do a layer of blue, and then a layer of purple, and then fill in the rest of the space with the pink. Then I get my water and my paintbrush and I paint water across the paper starting at the top and working my way down. It takes quite a bit of water and there might be a few small pools here and there. You will see the ink from the markers start to lift off the page. I gently work it with my paintbrush to make sure any little white spots are covered and to blend the layers. I also like to take a good swoop going down or up to blend some of the dark into the light or the light into the dark. Then I get a little bit of salt and pinch it on. If you have pink salt, you can experiment with that too. Next is the most important step, letting it dry. I let mine dry for about half an hour. You may need more or less depending on the humidity but the next steps won't work if your painting is still damp, so the longer the better. I did a time lapse of mine so you can see the cool effect you get from the salt and the ink as it dries. Check if your painting is dry. If it's still damp, even a little, turn away and come back later. If it is dry, brush off any remaining salt. Next, we are going to add some stars. Pour out a little bit of white paint and add a drop or two of water to thin it out. Mix it up with your old toothbrush and coat the toothbrush in paint. You will splatter paint some stars by pulling the bristles of the toothbrush back and then letting go. Clean up any splatters on the tape or on your table before they dry so you don't accidentally make a mess or smudge up your painting. If you want to, you can take a white gel pen or even a fine paintbrush and your white paint and add some bigger stars wherever they fit. We add the silhouette in the ground. I'm keeping it simple and adding pine trees by drawing a line and then adding a bunch of little swooshes on either side. You can get creative with your silhouette. I've seen silhouettes with wolves howling or big oak trees or even people kissing. 
One of my favorite things to do with galaxy paintings is to draw UFOs abducting cows. When you are done with your drawing, you can peel off the masking tape. Peel slowly and away from the painting so that it doesn't tear. there we have our finished galaxy painting. Isn't it pretty? You can play around with this method. Try going horizontally or radially where it's dark all around the four edges and light in the middle. You can try drawing other things like astronauts or spaceships. Try choosing different colors to get a water or a sunset effect. Play around with it and have fun.